Welcome to Babonga's channel. Let's make one. Start with a quadruple layer of aluminum foil. Now fold the aluminum foil like this and then again to make a square. Keep the single side towards you, the double side on the left and the multiple side on the right and prepare to cut half an eye. Leave a small distance of one finger to the left. Carefully unfold to find two symmetrical eyes with a distance between them. Now, before fitting it to our face, we need to make the aluminum foil edges safe by using a little masking tape around the eyes. And now it's ready to be applied on our face. This way it'll get the perfect shape. Start pressing gently. Aluminum foil will get any shape you want to give it. As you see here I'm doing two small ears. Fold the excess to make a jaw line like this and the other side. Generally work on it until you feel it's well fitted. And here we have the shape. Now we need to cover all the aluminum foil with masking tape. This is necessary because aluminum foil is weak and we don't want to lose the shape. Masking tape won't stick easily onto aluminum but eventually you will cover the outer side. Now proceed and do the inner side too. It takes some time but it's worth it because now the mask will be much harder and more stable. Next step is to apply layers of paper mache. That is wood glue with a little water and shredded newspapers. We'll start from the inner side. Just smear the glue on the piece of paper and then carefully apply it on the surface. We have to cover all the masking tape with one layer of this. Try to not leave any air bubbles. And after it's done, let it dry. Now that it's dry, turn it around and cover the front side. Work carefully around the eyes to not distort their shape. Just to be on the safe side, give your mask's front side at least two layers of paper mache and try to make it as smooth as possible. Now let it dry again. Now that's dry, it's time for air dry clay. First, apply wood glue on the area 
that you want to add an air dry clay part. Here I'm adding a mouth. You can integrate the air dry clay with the rest of the mask by pulling all around and using a little water to make it smooth. After you have the clay in position, you can start carving or sculpting the features that you want. Here I'm going to do first the lower lip using a knife. As you see, it doesn't take much, just pressing down and trying to keep it symmetrical. The upper lip is also not too difficult. To make the clay work better, use a little water and then proceed to give the mouth more anatomy or character. But, of course, you may choose not to add a mouth to your mask. In any case, if you want to wear the mask, then you need to pierce like this at the nostrils. Remember to always apply glue before adding any air dry clay features. Here I'm placing this clay cord where I want it that is, I'm going to cover a little bit of the ear and give it shape and integrate it with the rest of the surface of the mask by pulling out at the sides so at the end the two materials become one solid object. Spraying a little water from time to time helps you work with clay and makes it smoother. So go on and add as many clay parts as you want. Here I've done half the mask and now I'm texturing using this marker cap and rolling it along their length. This hopefully will transform these clay tentacles into something more mechanical looking. Of course, you can always choose to texture differently. For example, you can make dimples or produce other impressions with different tools and objects. For the steampunk look, I need gears. So, I'm going to place little clay discs, in fact many of them, at the joints or wherever I want them and then use objects that will leave a nice imprint on them. So, keeping the steampunk style in mind, you can add more gears or different textures to produce an interesting and rich result. Meanwhile, you have to decide if you want to do the other side of the mask symmetrical as I did here. After it's done, let the clay parts dry and apply black paint and then use golden paint to bring forth all the details that you made with clay. And this is how it looks so far. And this is how it looks with a little more painting. So this was how you can make a paper mache steampunk mask.